Eben Byers was a wealthy American socialite and well-regarded amateur golfer, but he's best known as the man who died from drinking radioactive energy drink. After Marie and Pierre Curie discovered radium in 1898, people tried to find uses for it. At the time, people believed in the healing power of hot springs. When it was discovered that the hot springs contained small amounts of radioactive radon gas, some people assumed it was the radiation that gave the hot springs their supposed healing powers. This led to medical quacks advertising radioactive substances in anything from face cream to toothpaste. Our golfing friend, Eben Byers, was prescribed one of these products in 1927 after hurting his arm in an accident. Radithor was a healing tonic consisting of radium dissolved in water. By this time, it should have been clear that radiation was dangerous. The Radium Girls, a group of factory workers who painted radioactive glow-in-the-dark paint onto clock parts, were already trying to sue their employers because they hadn't been adequately protected against radiation poisoning. Byers was convinced the drink improved his arm, and was so convinced of its health benefits that he continued drinking two or three bottles a day even after his arm was better. By the time he stopped taking Radithor in 1930, Byers had accumulated a large amount of radium in his bones, leading to his teeth falling out, the loss of most of his jaw, parts of his skull, and parts of his brain. He died in 1932 and was buried in a lead-lined coffin. Byer's body was exhumed 33 years later, and his bones were still radioactive. Radium has a half-life of 1,600 years, so his bones will remain radioactive for a very long time to come. <laughs>